I just want to show you guys how to easily it is to connect to the remote back home to your computer. I'm using the iTap remote desktop connector and I set up my actually my MSI back home. So what I do is just click on it. I'm up here. I'm using the Verizon Wi Fi card. And you see how quickly that connected back home. Once I click on it, this is my desktop back home. I've disabled the, the background screen when I'm remotely so that way um I don't have to uh, use more bandwidth and makes it a little quicker. As you can see I'm able to run my OneNote remotely and I can um, use Word or anything I want to use remotely there. Let's see, we'll go to um, I'm just trying to get this if you go there, it's just uh, it's kind of put this on there. And you can also hear the the sound from your computer as well. And it opens up pretty quickly as well. As you can see, um, I'm in Word now. And I can just uh, go ahead and type. Test. And as you can see, it puts the words pretty quickly as well. And you can you can zoom or panorama with it as well. And the good thing I like about this, if you actually, let's say, you go out of this, I I went over here. I can open up another web page or anything I you know you want. You know, this is on the iPad side. Um, we, I can just let me do this quickly. <clears throat> Let MSN load up. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna load up. But you can have the connection. I I always leave it. On. I can leave it on. So basically, if I have like Outlook running in the back, and if I didn't want to use my um, email program here I can basically go back to the client here and as you can see once I hit done and I don't have to touch anything and it will back, go back to where I was where I left off which is pretty neat that way you know if you have anything running in the background you could also continue using once you you don't have to log off if I log off I can just swing and that logs completely off and then you would have to re log back in. So I just thought I want to show you how easy it is to run Word, <laughs> and Excel or OneNote um on your iPad if you wanted to. So you can once again I'm using the I I tap version of it. And I'll just show you let's connect it there again once again. And let me close this up. I'll say no. And that's the other thing, you can actually hear the sound from your remote desktop. Uh, the logging in might be, I haven't tried the logging in, but um, th that one seems to work uh, pretty good from, um, actually I've seen it at James, James Kendrick at JK on the run, he's used that one. He's posted a couple of videos and it runs really good. Um, and there it's opening my OneNote. Uh, for my remote desktop and you can just scroll up or down and using your two fingers as you can see it'll go up and down and if you wanna you know there's all gestures if I double click that's uh like right click and if you hold this down you can actually say that like, you can get to an area whatever it's uh on there you can just tap it and it'll go on there so that was just a quick rundown on that remote desktop